In the prayer of recollection, it goes something like this. You can do this for five minutes, ten minutes, an hour. But in one, we just kind of sit, open ourselves to the Lord. Lord, I'm here. And in number two, here's what this prayer is about. It was about affirming to your soul your true identity. It was about talking to yourself and talking to God, just like the psalmist, that I'm in Christ and Christ is in you. That I've been reconciled to God, there's no condemnation. I've been reconciled to you. Full pardon. In the silence of the heart is me. In the silence of the heart is me. And it is there that I will know you. You love me. In the silence. So this prayer of identity was something like this. God, I was created for union with you, but I came into the world with sin. But now, and here's my core identity, I've been reconciled to you. Full pardon. You satisfy me. third part of the prayer is to open to the truth of, of what has already happened. That I have already died to Christ in this old nature. I have already somehow in Christ at the core where the Spirit is, I, it has been put to death, this old nature's habits. And so this prayer of detachment or the prayer of the already is God at the core of my spirit, at the core. This is what I'm going to think about all day long. At the core, it's no longer just me. I'm not just an angry person, a fearful person. At the core, this is no longer me. In the silence of the heart. At the core, this is no longer me. In the silence of the heart. Oh, in the silence of
and then in four, to affirm to my soul and to the Lord my true identity in Christ and Christ in me. That in union with him, I have already, already put him on. That somewhere at the core, this is the, this is the mystical part of Christianity. Somehow at the core by the spirit in him. I have now put on his fruit of love. Paul says we have put on love and compassion, kindness. God, at the core, you really are doing something. And then the last is about obedience. Resolve in your heart to obey the Lord. See, the imperative's still there. I have to still put it off because there's a residue. But it's not just putting off like ordinary putting off. It's putting off with Christ. So the prayer of obedience is, God, all day long, my mind and heart wants to focus on you. You're my life. You're my life. You're my life. 